Um, I'm here on behalf of the Judeo Bolshevinerinnen, which is a leftist uh, Jewish group here in Vienna, and we are anti Zionist Jews for Palestine, uh, for Palestinian liberation. And one of our guiding principles is doikait. And doikait is a Yiddish term that loosely translates to heroism. Uh, and it means we struggle for a better world where we are, right here, where we live. And it is a 100 year old concept that is opposed to Zionism. And with this, we join a worldwide movement of Jews that are vehemently opposed to the imperialist occupation, to the apartheid regime, and to the militarized ethnostate. And we unequivocally and fundamentally refuse this false dichotomy, this anti-Semitic and Islamophobic and fundamentally racist false dichotomy between Palestine, uh, Palestinian liberation and Jewish safety. It is precisely because of this shared history of genocide and violence right here in Austria that we are historically obliged to stand in solidarity with Palestinians with the liberation struggle because our struggles are united struggles and we call on Austria to recognize its historical duty and responsibility to stop this genocide. We call on Austria which is the 25th biggest uh, exporter of arms and weapons in the world to stop financing and profiting from this genocide in Palestine, in Sudan, and in the Congo. Ongoing attacks had caused mass destruction. The children are starving, the people are starving. It's going to be a collective punishment. These very open statements of genocidal intent by Israeli officials, including the Prime Minister and the President. It is infuriating and it's grotesque and it's perverse that I, I feel that I have to center and instrumentalize my Jewishness, but I feel compelled to because the Austrian state uh, cynically weaponizes it to shut down any uh, kind of anti-Zionist critique and to justify the annihilation of the Palestinian people. As a Jew, I demand that we heed the calls of Palestinians. Uh, we have to organize, we have to mobilize, we have to get out onto the streets. We have to refuse the deafening silence in our offices, in our universities, in our circles. We have to refuse and struggle against the racist state violence and the violent censoring and silencing and criminalization of the Palestinian liberation struggle. And free Palestine, let Gaza live, let Palestine live. Thank <laughs> you.